Bye, ladies. Love you. Hey, guys. The yeah. girls have left. It's boys only. Oh, yeah. Go, Noah. <laughs> Go, you have pull it. Woo! Let's go get McDonald's. Hey, and since mom's not here to say no, let's go see if we can buy an airplane. Ooh. What do you think, Noah? Yes. That's fun. All right, now that mom is gone, we can go hunt down an airplane to see if we can check out this weekend. First things first, you always need to practice safe internet browsing, okay? Because the interwebs are lots of bad stuff out there. So we need to fire up our old Express VPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, it's a virtual private network. We're connected. Currently, this uh, the interwebs thinks we're in Mexico. Let's do Hong Kong. Hong Kong. <laughs> okay, you're going. We're going China, huh? Okay. Now we're connected again. The uh, world thinks we're coming out of Hong Kong. Also, mom, when she bought her airplane tickets, mm -hmm. if she uses this, the airplane places give different prices based on where you're from. Isn't that the craziest That's thing? That's pretty cool. Yeah, so they're gonna think that uh, prices out of Hong Kong. <laughs> cheaper the better. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it'd be cheaper that way. You can get three months free on expressvpn.com. That's expressvpn.com slash Jimmy's World. Three months free for you to try it out. They got a money back guarantee. I've never looked back. It's been fantastic. Hey, Silas. Yeah. I just got an email from a guy. What do you think of that one? Ooh. That was pretty cool. Yes. This one actually looks like in the pictures that it has nice paint. Mm -hmm. And he mentioned something Ooh. about a new engine on it. And I think this one has six seats plus a baggage area. So we could actually get the entire family in there with some backpacks. Six seats. Perfect. You want to go look at it? Yes. All right, let's go. Two, three. Can I get a clear prop? Nice. Let's go. Hey, look at that. We put a battery in a card in the camera now. So. After all that, we're going to be headed up to Alabama to go look at this airplane. Yeah, that's there. If there's anything I don't like, we're setting it straight down in front of us. We're going to go over there and just go home and have a Mountain Dew and call it a day. Ready? Silas, you're doing a great job, man. Keeping us on track. Two five, Mike Bravo has the, the arrow there. Keeping us right at our altitude. Good job, buddy. If the airplane is trimmed out correct. Here, let's get it all just, and you should just barely be touching it with just like two fingers. You're going to have a lot of hours logged by the time you actually start flying. Noah, he's back there playing a airplane game where he can fly an airplane. In an airplane. That's kind of cool. He should see if he can find an Apache or Aztec to fly in the game. That'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty awesome. Now, the airplane that we're going to pick up is a little bit faster than this, but not quite as fast as the 310. And you'll see why I chose to fly this airplane whenever we get there. Because there's they're they're kinda they're kinda neat with each other. We got Alabama. Hello Alabama. Alright you guys, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and start coming on down. I like it. Bleeding off our airspeed. Make sure we get our Power setting in, and guard on the ground. Nice. Flaps coming up. Wow, we got.
got derelict row over here. And that's where Jimmy likes them. Hey, that's another 310. <gasps> right there, the brown thing. Hey, let's, let's go take a look. Yeah. Hey, Billy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good to meet you, Billy. I'm going to grab my floppy hat. Okay. You, got, you, you can't do anything without your floppy hat. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, the paint on this thing looks pretty stinking good. It's all dinged up. Oh, that thing is in full feather. But it, it looks brand new. Like, brand new, brand new. All right, Billy, I, I got the email from you. Well, it wasn't even from you, it was from a guy named Sean. That's right. Who was the previous owner of this airplane. That's correct. And he said that this one might be for sale again, which is how he gave me your contact information. I reached out to you, and here we are. What's the story of this airplane? Right. Background, the history, and how did it get to be the Blue Tarp Special? The Swan Aviation Ministries owns the airplane. We originally purchased it about two years ago uh, with the intention of uh, fixing it up to operate it as a, uh, a missions bird to do five missions with some partner ministries down to the Bahamas. As life happens with everybody, things change. So <laughs> we had a, a beautiful hangar and uh, we were working on it uh, about, I'd say every other month we'd come up on the weekend because it's about a five hour drive for us to come up here and work on this plane. So it's a logistically it's a nightmare. We had to do something with it. So we had a, a friend of ours that kept it in his hangar for a few months and uh, until we could try to find something. And honestly, we tried and tried, but there's just nothing available here at the airport. Uh, so it was uh, eventually put out on the flight line with a tarp over it. So out on death row here. Yeah, it's it's pretty much death row. So. Yeah. And uh, I, I guess we're not alone in this scenario. But. <laughs> That's right, you got company. Yeah. <laughs> oh we, got my some, we got some friends out here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But um, we were real excited about it uh, when we first got it. Uh, we we're going to use it for missions, plus also a trainer. Uh, we had some people that wanted to get their twin engine ratings. So we started working on it, uh, plugging away. Uh, we um, actually pulled the props, uh, sent them out, had them reworked up in North Carolina. I had a sister ministry of ours um, that we partner with a lot, E-Missionaire, uh, it's AJ James. Uh, he helped us out with that. He actually flew them up there and flew them back for us. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> Real so is that why the props look brand new is because they are brand new? Yeah, more or less, yeah. I mean, overhauled? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were, they were reworked. I'll, I'll put it to that way. Okay, so, <laughs> so I ran and taking right. apart inspection and all right. that kind of stuff. Yeah, because yep. the paint here is new, the grease, I mean, yes. everything is new on this. Yep, yeah. Both, I can see. Yeah, both of them are sent out. Uh, now the previous owner had done some work to the left engine and we got all the paperwork on that. So that was this engine here? <laughs> yes. Yeah, and it was taken apart completely, and... Completely disassembled. It was, um, it's a rebuild but they didn't put full overhaul in the manual because of some sort of technicality with what an overhaul means in the airplane world versus every right. other world. This is fully overhauled and how many hours are on this engine since it was overhauled? Uh, I haven't looked at the books I, about so for a couple of years on the hours but I want to say it's about 16 or 1700 uh, somewhere in there. So, since it was overhauled? Uh, well, no, since they did all the work to it? Well since they did all the work to it, zero. So, zero? Yeah. Have they ran this engine? No, not since they repaired it. So that's what we were getting ready to do. <laughs> so, okay. Let me, let me just Slow the choo-choo train down. Sure. And this was done by the previous owner? That's correct. All right, so Sean, the guy that called me, he, this is kind of the story that he told me, is that he bought it for his son to go through and do his training right. for, well, he was on an airline route, and then the engine went out, and they had the engine work done, and by the time they got it back, his son had already done all of his training and was gone and off flying for somebody. Yeah. 
so then that's when they sold it to you and he told me yeah. he sold it to you guys for only the amount that they had into the engine actually he sold it to us for less than the amount so after looking at the receipts um he had well over forty thousand uh just in this one engine holy crap yeah and that's a field <laughs> overhaul that's not like yeah. from like homing or something right 40 grand into the engine <laughs> and sold it to you guys at a decent loss right. and you guys bought the whole airplane we did and that was two years ago that's correct and then in that time you took the props off had them reworked and you still haven't started this engine no we haven't uh we've, we've also been working on the flight controls and stuff like that that you know there was a lot of parts that were removed from the airplane uh so we were simultaneously while we we're working on the engine we we're trying to work on the everything else and get it all back together. Why was it removed? What was removed? Because the paint on this looks pretty new. Yeah. That, was it removed because it was painted? I think so. There was some paint work done. Um, I don't know what all they did. I do know they did some touch up work and some stuff was painted. I don't know if they painted the whole airplane or not. I, I don't really remember the story on that, but I think Sean could speak to that better than I could. <laughs> but uh, we uh, we got it and uh, we just know the, the flaps and the ailerons were removed and uh, one of the control rods had been removed and uh, the rest of it was kind of like what you see except for the cowlings all the cowlings were off um, and the seats were out so I don't know if they were in the middle of an annual or if somebody was working with them on that or, or if they were doing more paint work so it's uh, hard to say okay I wasn't here so I, I don't know <laughs> yeah okay yeah. wow crazy so I gotta ask about because this is an early model year it's like a 61 six, yes, that's right. 61 yes. yes in those years they didn't have the pointy nose no they had the a rounded nose right so what so, why does it got a pointy nose on it so going through the records uh this was uh done early i want to say well it's been a while <laughs> about more than 20 years ago uh but this was changed out put a longer nose on i call it geronimo package uh, it's got a one-piece windscreen. You'll see that. Oh yeah. Um, it's got the tip tanks on both wings. Yeah. Uh, and it's also got the high-speed gear doors. Um, Is that the ones that cover the tires all the way or something? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm, I'm not. I'm not an Aztec guy or a guru, uh, but we had a fellow come along uh, that, that knew him real well. He was actually a test pilot uh, for Piper, and uh, he had uh, pointed out some of the mods. Uh, that he recognized and he would turn up went through the documentation and it was all there so uh, very cool it's pretty awesome so what do you think jimmy hey this has got jimmy's world written all over it <laughs> i mean we got a torn blue tarp yep we got a questionable backstory yeah. somewhat you know could or could not be kind of stuff i'm in let's look at the rest of the airplane okay and let's uh let's see what we got awesome this has got Jimmy written all over it. Airplane noises. I wonder if this guy wants to sell this thing. Do you know if he wants to sell it? Uh, I know somebody who would know. I know where we can get some parts for this if we ever needed some. Like, call it the brown bomber. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I the tires are low from there. Yeah, you know. That's been sitting a while. Small details. Right. Small details. But really, the reason we're here is that jewel right there. I'm gonna call it the blue tarp special. Let's get the tarp off this thing and let's yep. I wanna see it without the tarpage. Okay. So got you gotta look at these zip ties this thing has got on it. These are the most insane zip ties ever. Yeah, those are I don't even know how in the world. I'm gonna have to get your cutters. Yeah, that's not coming off. Let's do an inspection of the engine. Oh, there it is. So yeah, this this looks new. So Billy, you said the, uh, the cables on this side. Yeah, Here, yeah. I need some work. Um, we put some uh, mouse milk in the cables to loosen them up. Uh, one of them needs to be rigged a little bit. So the governor cable is a little stiff on this one. We got it loosened up before, uh, but that's been a few months ago, so we're gonna have to work on that again. Aside from that, we've already put the oil in it. We'll have to turn the blades back to 
uh, pitch like they're supposed to be with the prop the homemade prop pedals we got. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, wood price is so expensive. Uh, we're yeah, that's right. Doing what we gotta do. Yeah, the wood. <laughs> Clamp some one bys together. Is that what you yeah, said? Right. Yeah, yeah, I know. Try right. buy a two by six. It'd be cheaper to buy another airplane. Yeah, right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a good engine though. And it's got alternators on it, not generators. That was all part of the Geronimo stuff, right? I think so. Uh, I, I haven't researched it, but I, I want to say it is. Here, ooh, the big reveal. Wait, we got. It. Are you ready? Wow! Wow! That looks ten times better already. It does. <laughs> Did you unlock the uh, cargo hatch? Uh, it's always been unlocked. Uh, oh, okay. But yeah. I, just, I didn't know how much water or whatever else is going to be in there. It's, yeah, that's something we'll have to look at. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, right. <laughs> wow. That is... Is that painted? Yeah, it is. I think. It is! Yeah. Look at the design on this prop spinner. It looks like a granite or marble nice. countertop. Uh, okay, so that engine over there Brand new, has never been started. And not since the repair. <laughs> not since the repair. There you go. <laughs> what about this one? There's never any issues with this one. Uh, talking to the previous owner, it's just it just hasn't been started since uh, the work had started on the airplane. So I would say about five years it's been sitting. But we keep we keep it turned and we, we treated it um, to preserve it. Is it pickled right now? Well, it was, uh, but we were getting ready to start the engines about six months ago, so we took all the fluids and you know did what we needed to do to get it ready. So okay, uh, let's take a look inside and see what we got. Here's the the old cargo door. Oh, so one, two. So it's got six seats in it as well. Yeah, it's only got five seats, but capacity for six. So it's the exact same setup as that one over there. Awesome. For some reason, I thought maybe it was the later ones. They were bigger, and they had six seats plus a luggage area. <clears throat> so, Oh, yeah, there's lots of parts in there. This, those seats look really nice, though, dude. They are. Yeah. Wow. Is it unlocked? Uh, it should be, yeah. Ooh. Holy cow! Dude, these seats are brand new! This is by far the nicest interior of an airplane of any airplane that I've ever potentially had. We don't have this deal yet, but I think it's looking good. Oh yeah, that's really easy, huh? You know why? Because it's not hooked up. <laughs> so this is the aileron on this side that's not connected and it's well it's just this rod right here so is that rod no that rod's not hooked up to anything either no dude, yeah left and right side both are disconnected are the cables and pulleys and stuff in there yeah they there it's got a turnbuckle up here and the rod just goes to that and it, it bolts there and it bolts to the aileron uh, from what i've been able to tell uh, that's the only spot where it's been dis disconnected Obviously, when you do cable tension check stuff like that, it's something you'll want to verify. And uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we fly out of here, we'll definitely want to make sure that those yeah. are connected really well. To put brand new hardware uh, on the uh, right aileron, right flap. Uh, the left aileron, left flap. We ran out of hardware, so we were going to order some more. Uh, we're in the middle of that. Uh, but this this wing is almost buttoned up. We just have to connect this rod. Do the rigging checks, and uh, down there at the flap, the base down. We have to make sure that's on correct too. So okay. Where it connects to the, uh, the the linkage for the motor and all. Oh right. Because so. now these are hydraulic flaps. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. And does this one have the one hydraulic, the original one on the left engine? Does it have an auxiliary, either electric, over hydraulic, or the other one on this engine? 
Um, from what I remember, the red engine has a hydraulic system also. Or, or it's got dual hydraulics. Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked it over. So, but I'm sure. pretty sure the right engine has the, the right hydraulic system okay. as well. Or right, what about the uh, the tail section? Is everything hooked up back here? It should be. Oh yeah, there's the yoke. Could use a little WD-40 on it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, I got a tail light. Tail light's out. That's it. No deal. <laughs> Bacon too. <laughs> oh yeah. Every piper I've ever seen, see how this has got a flat spot on it right here? That's from the tail hitting the ground when they land, <sighs> like that. Yeah, I've done it too. So this guy breaks on both sides of the caliper. Grab it. I don't know if that was standard on these. It was an upgrade for like a heavy duty brake package for the Geronimo stuff. This part right here was also extra for the Geronimo stuff that covers the wheels a little bit more so that it gets uh, goes through the air a little faster, you know, a couple, couple more miles an hour on things. Oh, the struts are still pumped up. Best I can tell looking underneath, it looks all overspray from the paint job but looks doesn't look super greasy or nasty so and the tires don't even look dry rotted that's crazy yeah I'll be doggone the tires are not even dry rotted I just noticed they painted the mirror on this side solid I don't know if there's tape under it or they just painted over it that's funny let's take the uh, cover off of these engines and see what we're dealing with It is hot. Oh, you're taking everything off. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah, let's grab that. Uh, pick the cylinder stuff. That is a brand new engine. Yes, yeah, sir. Completely disassembled. Uh, the entire lower end of the engine was sent out and uh, checked. Magnaflux, all that stuff. I think the only thing they didn't do was overhaul the cylinders. And I believe that's why they wouldn't sign off as an overhaul. But it looks like it, I mean. Yeah, it does. So I, I don't know if that's true or not. So that's just the, the rumor mill around the airport, so. Huh, so what is silver or gray on the cylinder fins? Cause I know orange is chrome, blue is that nitride stuff. Mm -hmm. What's silver gray? Um, yeah, honestly, I don't remember, so. Is it just like steel? Yeah, I believe so. Something, okay. Yeah. Oh, the vacuum pump. I bet it's because some of the accessories were not overhauled and that's why they couldn't call it a complete overhaul. Yeah, that don't like, know. A wet vacuum pump, which is good. Okay. Uh, we got the governor up here, which that one, that looks old, but it looks like it's been gone through. They, right. Did they did that at the same time, the props? Uh, I don't know. Because um, you send the props off. You, did you send the no, governors we, with them? No, we did not. No, okay. we, haven't, we haven't replaced the governor, removed it or nothing. Uh, we did pull the old, we did pull the old coolers. Uh, we flushed those out uh, back here. Uh, oh, that's right there. Yeah, it? yeah, under here. Yeah. Uh, we we flushed those and put them back on. Uh, I, I guess the reason they overhauled it was I guess there's metal chips or something found or something. I don't know. I don't know the full story on it. But sure. to the air on the side of caution, we went ahead and flushed what we could. Yeah. And uh, we filled up the cylinders with Marvel's Mistrial uh, to preserve them uh, when we got it. And then uh, we flushed them out. Uh, we were getting ready to do the engine runs. Um, and that's kind of where we stopped. <laughs> so. Did I mention it's starting to warm up? It's getting hot, yes. Yeah, it's starting to warm up. That's, that's one of the challenges about it being on the flight line out here. So <laughs> you gotta do the work early in the morning or late in the evening. Yeah, there's, there's not even like big mice nests or bird's nests or no, yeah. anything on this. Uh, it's, it's been hangered its whole life, and this is the first time it's been on the flight line since it's been on this airport, from what I understand. Sure. Cool. Okay, well, let's take a look at the other engine over there. and uh, Yeah, you'll see a big difference. See where we go. <laughs> it might just be held on by the prop. Ooh, scratch it like that. Watch out for wasps. 
Bud Bombers, they got in here pretty quick. Build a nest. Oh, so I just need to go back a little bit. Yep. Got it. Got it. All right, send it over my way. Yep. Keep coming. All right, I got it. Got it. Wow, look at that hot rod red. This, right, one, this one looks like it had orange paint on it. Yeah, this one, I don't see any on this one. Huh. Yeah. Do you, you remember roughly how many hours run this engine? I want to say 1800. Um, 1800, oh wow. Yeah. So this one's a TBO then. Yeah, it's really, yep. Yeah. A little shy of that, maybe. I got the books with me. and We can verify the hours. Okay. Well, I I might know where a fellow might be able to find an engine. <laughs> we have not gone through the fuel system, so that's the one thing we haven't done yet. Okay. As far as flushing it or any, that kind any, of stuff? Anything. Yeah. yeah, well, you've never even had, had fuel to it, right? Right, yeah. So we're, we're going to do that when we put fuel in it and start, you know, checking pressures and flow and you know filters and all that stuff sure so that's we never got around to doing that yeah yep 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 okay all right well so let's go find us a cold drink of water and a little bit of shade and air conditioning and some sweet tea <laughs> now you're talking see i knew this man so he's you can tell he's a believer right there he's not right. a pagan with that unsweet junk and you have to say roll tide when you walk in there <laughs> yeah oh okay I, I mean i guess we're in alabama otherwise we might be shoehorned or something right <laughs> but, okay well yeah let's let's go do that and uh let's let's talk deal okay sound good yeah all right let's go awesome. find some shade the background of this airplane, it was a guy that sold it to the ministry, and the ministry is called Swan Aviation. Is that correct? The Swan Aviation Ministries. The uh, the focus is the kids, the youth, and we're trying to encourage them to get into missionary aviation, and uh, we're also encouraging them to uh, encouraging them to get into uh, military aviation. Uh, most of the people in the ministry are veterans. A lot of us have uh, served in combat or, or served in peacetime. And we want to encourage the youth of today to get into aviation. Uh, there's a great need. There's a lot of uh, science, technology, engineering, mathematics they can learn uh, in an aviation ministry, working with us, serving with us. Uh, that'll help them in their, with the rest of their life. And a lot of the kids we work with are in the foster care system. They're adopted. So we come alongside them and help them with uh, having that uh, technical aptitude that they're going to need to be successful. That's really the, the heart of the ministry is the kids and what we're trying to do for those kids that, that are really, uh, they've been in situations in their life that uh, most kids in America never have to deal with. And show them, hey, you can be very successful in your life, no matter what's happened to you. You know, God's in control, uh, and maybe this is for you. Partner up with the uh, EAA Young Eagles program, and they actually fly the kids for us on Saturday. And all we do is we bust the kids to the flying, uh, just through our one-week camp. <laughs> so. That's an enormous task, but uh, so far the kids love it. That's now, I heard rumor that you have a flight simulator. Yes, uh, uh, that came, that actually uh, came because of our camp. Our first year we did a camp, we rented a flight simulator, and it was almost $1,000 to rent it. You know, Over the winter, we looked around our building, and we had this experimental uh, mini biplane that had been donated that we knew would never fly. And so I said, well, why don't we convert this to a simulator? And my right-hand guy, Tommy Talley, he's an avionics guy, and he's always wanted to build a simulator. <laughs> so I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so so all winter, we're sitting there freezing to death, in our, because we don't have heat. We're freezing to death in the winter, building this simulator. And we put, like, LED lights down a fuselage, put them in the wing, and we started out with uh, just one monitor. But uh, at, over the, month, the few, past few months, we've slowly been adding to it you know a little more a little more making it as, as realistic as we can so now we have three giant monitors we put in front of it and they're they're connected together and they, they tuck in under the wing the two on the side sure. and so you're the kids actually get to sit in a real airplane and 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 fly on a simulator so I mean, where, where are you going to find that at? <laughs> so, yeah, that is cool. That's and, and, yeah, it's, it, it, and, and we love it. Cool. Well, we got some ice water. We got in here to cool down a little bit. That airplane has got the Jimmy stuff all over it. Yeah. So, I'm in. 
But here's the deal. It hasn't ran in at least five years that we know of. Right, yeah. That one engine has never ran since it's been gone through. That's correct. It hasn't had fuel in the gas tanks True. in roughly five years-ish Ish. <laughs> that we know of. So I tell you what, I'm a buyer on the airplane. Awesome, amen. And you know, I want to support what you're doing. I think it's fantastic. I think you guys out there would get a, a kick of this is Jimmy's world and what it's about and the whole wings of compassion. We have the opportunity to change some people's lives, so let's do it. Uh, I'm going to put Swan Aviation, all their information, down in the description. Go check them out. Fantastic guys. They're doing some awesome work. Uh, maybe we can throw up some B-roll on the screen right now of their website and the camp. Sponsor some kids. Do something like that. It all goes to them. I don't want any of your money there. But here's the deal. I'm, I'm buying the airplane just the way it sits, for better or worse. But if we can get this thing started, like today... I'll sponsor 10 more kids to go through the camp. Oh wow, that's amazing. What do you guys think? <laughs> so, so it's, it's a pretty big challenge. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's, that's amazing, that's good news. Does that sound good? Yeah, I think we can do it. <laughs> All right, let's get her done. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, quit sitting around, let's go. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> Here we go, Clear, Clear,